Hello everyone, today we're looking at the paper Greece LM, Graph Reasoning Enhanced Language Models for Question Answering by a bunch of authors from Stanford University. Modern language models are capable of capturing and distilling the information in large quantities of text documents. They're very good at generating fluent language that sounds plausible and they can the language models can implicitly encode broad knowledge about the world within their weights which they find within this training data of the model. However, where language models struggle is when they are applied to example cases that require more structured type of reasoning that might require more explicit uh, relationships to be encoded about the concepts and entities present in the required input text that has to be reasoned over. And this type of relationships might not be present within the training data or they might be very sparsely present and the model might be simply unable to, the standard language model might be unable to learn this information. And in the paper, the authors propose a new type of language model called Greece LM. The language model integrates a graph neural network into the um, generation process to equip it with a mechanism to reason reason over this, this uh, uh, graph and to integrate this knowledge in the uh, language modeling uh, generation objective. And then in this way, be able to encode more explicit relevant knowledge about the world that helps to generate more grounded outputs. So how does this Greece LM architecture work? Given a prompt such as, if it is not used for hair, a round brush is an example of what? The answer is art supplies, which, which might be a bit tricky to guess potentially, especially with this negation component. So a standard language model might struggle with this because it's basically gonna ignore the negation, it's gonna output something likely. So um, something likely that is occurring many, many times in the text documents it has seen. And we want to use here a knowledge graph to encode this and to retrieve more relevant knowledge for this and integrate this. So the way that they do it is they first, they take this prompt and they use a special retrieval mechanism to get a subset of a knowledge graph that contains relevant knowledge about this prompt. Um, and here they use the ConceptNet knowledge graph, a, a open source general purpose knowledge graph containing wide, wide range of entities and relationships. So what they might get, for example, is they might get the uh, node for hair, um, they might get the node for round brush, painting, art supply, and the same relationships, for example, that um, art supply is used for painting, round brush is used for painting, uh, and this graph is then used as input to the Greece LM model, um, this graph as well as the prompt as well, of course. And the way this Greece LM model works, it has a, a stacked sequence of special layers that integrate uh, reasoning over the two types of data, textual data and graph data. You have a LM layer, which basically operates as a standard language model, um, doing some encoding of the representations and trying to produce a probability distribution later on over the vocabulary to generate the next token. But you also have a graph neural network layer, which performs some reasoning over this um, subset of the knowledge graph. And then the two representations produced by the two um, layers are fused through a special layer, such that each representation in subsequent layers um, is containing a mix of the uh, explicit knowledge encoded in the knowledge graph and the general type of knowledge encoded by the language model or learned from a text document. And this information fused is then used to produce the next token um, and autoregressively generate the answer in a more informed way. Hopefully this gives you a quick overview of this language model, how, how it works. And the authors test this language model on a few data sets focusing on common sense and uh, qu question answering and more difficult type of question answering. Questions such as, a weasel has a thin body and short legs to easier burrow after prey in a what? And there's a few options to be picked from. And what the authors find is that this special language model with a knowledge graph infused representations is able to outperform previous methods um, which rely, for example, only, only on text. Here we have a Roberta large model um, without any knowledge graph. So Greece LM is able to outperform on the common sense QA data set. Um, and Greece LM also outperforms some previous methods which 
also try to use the knowledge graph, but in a more shallow way. So there's various previous work that tries to do the same as GreaseLM, but they don't have an explicit fusion of these representations of the knowledge graph and the language model, but they have some tricks to basically um, integrate the knowledge graph information, for example, as an additional textual input for the language model or different types of methods to go around having to integrate explicitly the knowledge graph. So GreaseLM seems to be the first method that tries to integrate explicitly in a deep fashion the representations of a knowledge graph and fuse them with the language model and it seems to be able to do it successfully. And this is also confirmed um, on some of the other data sets and in particular even for very large so GreaseLM is able to, to be very competitive with fewer parameters with very large language models. Um, so basically with GreaseLM you can get away with fewer parameters to have the same um, performance as much much larger language models which then they might able to remember more things to a large number of parameters. Hopefully that gives you a quick overview of GreaseLM. Um, it's a very interesting method and the general research direction seems to be very popular uh, of using graph neural networks, knowledge bases, and external knowledge in general and integrating it into, into language models, into question answering systems. Um, there's also a lot of work on integrating information retrieval models um, within language models, which I have covered in a few videos in the past. So you can check that out if you're interested. So that will cover for this video. Check out the paper for some also some interesting visualizations of the reasoning over the graph, graph neural network um, nodes. And I'll talk to you in the next one.